Hey guys, welcome to my channel and okay, first of all, I'm in a rush because I'm very late to a dinner, a birthday dinner for my best friend and she's gonna kill me if she knows that I'm recording right now and not on the way because they're already there. But anyway, today we're gonna do this um, really nice um, rose gold look and my main thing about this video is that I had a huge red swollen monster on my nose so we're just gonna basically tell you well we're basically just gonna show you how to basically hide that especially on the day of a huge event we have like a huge party going on and i can't believe of course when i woke up this morning it was there so tips and tricks on how to get rid of like huge big swollen bumps hide them under the makeup not just hide it over over with the makeup with the bump shot like no we need to numb it we need to get rid of it we need our skin to be nice and smooth for this all right so just keep watching i hope you guys enjoy so first this this is gross like volcano just came out of nowhere of course today of all days Anyway, to fix that, since it's so raised up and swollen, just get a piece of ice. All I do is just rub it on there. Anytime there's a lot of big red bumps that hurt, pimples, anything like that, that's swollen, just rub ice on it. And the swelling goes down immediately. I mean, it hurts less too since it's kind of numb. Okay, so we're gonna prime my face with the color corrector. So green definitely cancels out any pink, red undertones. I have so much of that, especially right here. I'm gonna definitely get rid of that. I'm gonna just spread it on my fingers. And then it is a primer, not an actual color corrector. Cannot forget. I'm put my under eyes. So this is a $4.99 brush, awesome for full coverage. You want to keep in mind when you have, especially this color correcting primer, you don't want to mix it all in. You lose the purpose of a color correcting primer or any color correcting. I'm just going to put it on my eyes today because my paint pot didn't come in today. I'm so upset. That's fine. That's fine. It's just how my life goes get your ears I always use just a little bit at a time because I just don't like that heavy feeling. Even though I'm doing full coverage, but I still like to feel like I can't even get rid of this red monster.
see now all the red from underneath this all canceled. That's well, actually my first time using that. Put a bit on the forehead. Get in the hairlines. Okay, my face is super oily today. Maybe because I just got a facial yesterday. So lately it's been super oily, which is really good because it's been uh, really dry lately. So I'm just going to go ahead and set it before I start melting. So of course I'm using my favorite Smashbox. And I bought a powder puff today. So I'm just going to dip that. We fold it, roll it. I just pat more like a pat and roll like this. <laughs> the one I'm using does have color. You can just use basically anything translucent if you want to. Translucent doesn't have any color to it, so I prefer that. You can. Oh my god. Literally just dropped this on my dress, but <laughs> thank god nothing came out. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little more concealer on my eyes. Since my paint pot didn't come in today. It's cool. I'm not mad at you, Mac. It's not you. It's not you, it's me. The beauty blender and This is nice and even. I'm, even I'm, I'm also trying to lighten up the nose contour. So, you know, everything looks like a mess right now, but it would definitely come together. So I'm going to use my Naked 3 and my brushes for Morphe. Definitely learn as well. From watching YouTube is holding it near the end instead of here, you know, like blotchy, not really blended out. If you hold it out a little farther to the end, it makes it blend a lot smoother. And you have to be patient during the eyes because even though this color is the first color, so like you can barely see it, but it will definitely come together. And my favorite. I can't, I just have to, I just have to use this all the time. I cannot help it so well with all my looks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pat right here. It. I need to go. This is color tattoo color gilded rose. It's perfect. I'm gonna use color pop here and the color birthday cake. Especially with glitters involved, I have to put on um, glitter glue. And I think it's by Too Faced, if I'm not mistaken. I actually got a sample of it and I love it. But I barely use a, any. Because this one definitely a little goes a long way with this one. So I'm going to...
Get the darker color to blend in. Now, I always keep a baby wipe on on me, by me, because sometimes I just get afraid of it. Just has too much product on it, or anything like that. Just rather be safe than sorry. Back with Factory, which is the the third transition color and I'm gonna put it in the middle between the black and the pink glitter so it can kind of turn into like an ombre-ish transition. You don't want it to be black and then pink. You kind of need that brown in between to, to fade it out. Alright. Definitely need to hurry up. So what I like to do a lot is basically brainstorm. So I just draw so lightly. So I'm about to do my concealer, my blush, um, my lashes, and then I am good to go. These are Lily lashes. Which one are these? These are the, oh, the Miami, the mink ones. Yes, I finally, finally picked up my jelly bean. Cannot wait to use this. I can't wait to try it. This is I'm actually gonna do a video of in one makeup sitting, but today I'm gonna use it as my highlighter. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. So excited! So I'm gonna swipe and then. So this is the look. So this is the look and you can't really see the red. No, you cannot, but this light is pretty bright too. Can't really see it, but that's the power of makeup, power of ice, and color correcting or, or color correcting primer. So I definitely recommend using those three things for sure definitely the ice the ice will numb it down smooth out your skin it honestly doesn't even hurt anymore i don't know how long it's gonna last though but here's the look i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i'm sorry i was in such a rush but anyway like the video comment subscribe all of that please thank you guys so much i really appreciate a lot of my friends um a lot of my family they just really pushed me Let's just go ahead and make the channel i mean why not it's fun i have nothing to lose so thank you guys so much